Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can back up and restore your iPhone on your Mac computer. All you need is you need your MacBook, you need a cord to plug it in, and then you need your iPhone. If you don't have a Mac computer, that's totally okay. Now the process is very, very similar on how you can do this on a Windows computer as well. When you plug your phone into the computer, it may not show up right away that it's being connected. So what you have to go is you have to go into your finder on your Mac, which is if you go into this little face icon here in the bottom, and then the finder window will show up. And then if you go to where locations is, it will show up as iPhone or if you have renamed it, it will show up as like your name or any name that you've assigned to your iPhone. When you click on that, it's gonna show all the information here on your phone. The next piece that you wanna do is you wanna to go to backup all data on your iPhone to this Mac. And if you would like to, you can encrypt the local data backup. So in that way it encrypts all the information. What encryption means is it allows you to set a password so that none of your information goes to a different iPhone, goes to a different computer, and they can't access the files. Only you have the information in order to get inside of it. Once you have selected backup all data on this iPhone to this Mac, go ahead and select backup now. It's gonna ask you if you wanna encrypt the backup. You can, you can if you want to or hit don't encrypt. And now it's gonna back up all of your information. Now you'll start to see where the loading icon here, this is gonna go all the way across the board here. And when it goes across this progress bar, you've noticed that it will back up your information right on your computer. Now this is gonna back up 70 gigabytes onto my computer. So make sure on your computer you have enough space to save your information on your Mac. Because if you don't, you have to delete some stuff in order to provide room for your backup. There is another way to backup your information. If you go onto iCloud.com and buy more iCloud storage space so you can save all of your information onto iCloud. Now for the next piece, what we're gonna do is we're going to start to restore the backup on your iPhone. And the way you do that is you have to go to where it says restore backup. This will only work, this will be a button once when it shows up as last backup to this Mac and we give you that time and date. You hit restore backup and you choose a backup. If you have multiple backups, it will have a list of them that shows, but you have one, click on the one and then hit restore. If you already have a phone that has been set up already, it's going to hit erase and restore on the computer screen. Now, if it's a brand new phone and you've recently bought like the iPhone 14, a new iPhone, just make sure that you are setting up as brand new and then it will tell you to erase and restore. You don't have anything on there anyways, but you will be restoring from your old iPhone. Once it has a erase and restore icon, your iPhone will go into a black screen and then it's gonna have a Apple logo that shows up with a progress bar in the bottom. That tells you that it is going to a reset and then the progress bar is gonna take a while because it's gonna take the restore, uh, the restore from the backup onto the iPhone and then it's gonna have a progress bar that goes all the way across the screen. I hope everyone learned everything from this video today on how to back up your iPhone on the Mac and restore your iPhone from your Mac computer. If you don't have a Windows computer, that is totally okay because it's really the same exact process, same exact way as well. I hope everyone took a lot away from this video. I appreciate you all watching. And don't forget, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos upcoming in the following weeks. Peace.